Dear friends, as people worldwide are preparing for Christmas, they always think of Bethlehem. Because of the war on Gaza, and as a sign of mourning of the thousands of civilians murdered there, the churches in the Holy Land decided to cancel all Christmas festivities. Yet the Christmas story is a Palestinian story per excellence. It talks about a family from Nazareth who is forced by the Roman Empire to evacuate from the north of Palestine, that is Nazareth, to the south, that is Bethlehem. Jesus was born to a displaced family. There was no place for him at the inn, so he was born in a manger. The situation in Palestine under Roman occupation 2,000 years ago was not easy at all. In fact, King Herod ordered to massacre all the children in the Bethlehem area. Over 8,000 children have been murdered in the Israeli airstrike in Gaza within five weeks. The weeping that is heard today in Gaza resembles very much the weeping that was heard in Bethlehem 2,000 years ago. On that night, a choir of angels was singing Gloria in Excelsis Deo. This was a hymn of resistance. The glory is God's only, not the empire, with all its military, economic, and intelligence capabilities. Peace on Earth was also a statement of resistance. It was a critique of the so-called Pax Romana, the peace of the empire. The Roman understanding of peace based on military oppression and dehumanization of people who are non-Roman. The peace that the angels declared was a peace based on justice, human dignity, and equality. The child of Bethlehem who experienced military oppression, displacement, and I'm sure traumatization, grew up preaching, blessed are the peacemakers, not the peace talkers, by the way, declared freedom to the captives and justice to those downtrodden, that they deserve life in dignity and not death. Freedom and not Nakba. Equality and not dehumanization. But allow me also to express my appreciation to all the people worldwide who poured into the major cities in the world, from London to Washington, from Cape Town to Amman, from Casablanca to Barcelona, from Jakarta to Hiroshima, from Auckland to Seoul, from Sana to Copenhagen. They are marching, showing their solidarity, calling for a permanent ceasefire and for a just peace. Thank you. While we prepare for Christmas, we are reminded by our Palestinian poet, Mahmoud Darwish, to think of others, and especially today, to think of Gaza. He wrote, as you prepare your breakfast, think of others. Do not forget the pigeon's food. As you conduct your wars, think of others. Do not forget those who seek peace. As you pay your water bill, think of others, those who are nurtured by clouds. As you return home, think of others. Do not forget the people of the camps. As you sleep, 
and count the stars. Think of others, those who have nowhere to sleep. As you liberate yourself in metaphor, think of others, those who have lost the right to speak. As you think of others far away, think of yourself. Say, if only I were a candle in the dark. Think of others, think of Gaza, think of Palestine.